Hello friends, this video on Kinetic Theory Part 27 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from Part 1 to Part 26 before going ahead with Part 27. Let us now talk about the specific heat capacity of solids. Till now we talked about the specific heat capacities of gases. First monoatomic gas, then diatomic gas and then polyatomic gas. Let us now talk about solids. Now when talking about the specific heat capacity, let us consider that the solid consists of n atoms. Let us consider that the solid is constituted by 6 by n atoms. Now each atom can oscillate about its mean position, right? So each atom can oscillate about its mean position. Because it, it has n atoms, each can oscillate. Each can oscillate, that means each becomes a part of the vibrational degree of freedom. So how much does they contribute? They contribute, their contribution is kb into t. Vibrational. The contribution of vibrational degree of freedom is kb into t. Therefore, in one dimension, the average energy would be Kb into T. Now, if I talk of three dimension, then the average energy would become 3 into Kb into T. Because when I talk of a solid, I need to talk about three dimension. And in case of solids, the atoms will oscillate about their mean position. Therefore, the total internal energy of one mole of solid will be equal to 3 kbt into Na. So, this is equal to 3rt. So, this is the value of U. Now, for solids from thermodynamics, we know that Delta Q is equal to delta U plus P delta V. This is from the law of thermodynamics. Now if we consider that pressure is constant, that is at constant pressure. Pressure is already constant. Now the change in volume that is delta V is negligible in case of solids because if you see in case of solids, the change in volume is very less because solids are packed with molecules and they have a fixed shape. So the change in volume is almost negligible. So we can consider the change in volume as zero. So this term becomes zero and we get delta Q is equal to delta U. Now since this is the case, now from definition of CV and CP, we find what is CV? Cv is du by dt at constant volume, right? And what is Cp? Cp is dq by dt at constant pressure. Now since delta u and delta q are same, this implies that Cv is equal to Cp. So what will be the value of Cv? That is du by dt dt. Now in this case u is equal to 3rt so this will be 3r. So in case of solids Cp is equal to Cv is equal to 3r. So this is the relation between the specific heat capacities of solids. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.